What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31. Uh, yo, man, I had to take a few days off or whatever. I had some other stuff going on, right? I just, I didn't want to overload myself, right? I don't know what happened to me earlier in the week, but can y'all see my eyes, dude? Like, they're red and they itch, dude. Like, I, th I think it's some kind of allergy or something. I don't know, man. But if it doesn't clear up in a couple of days, I'm gonna go to the doctor because this, I mean, it's like constantly itching and watering, and uh, I don't like eye drops of any kind. It just bother me. I don't know, man. It's weird. Anyways, <laughs> um, y'all got this new configuration with my new chair sitting in here like this. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Chair's comfortable, but as long as the videos look right, I'll be good. But it's the chair I'm usually in the bottom. It's usually in my background. Uh, it's just a super comfy chair, and I wanted to sit in it. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> so check this out. I'm going to be doing a lot of these uh, Montreality interviews. I just like them a lot, and y'all seem to respond to them pretty well. Um... I think there's, I'm going to start looking at some other videos, not because I don't want to do any more music. I'm going to continue to do music as the vast majority of my videos. Um, but I, I, I've never watched a, this guy, I think his name's Steve will do it. I don't, I don't know what that means. I've never seen a single video of his, but I've seen a couple of clips. Honestly, he's the kind of guy that I would have hated in high school, but I heard from people that I do like that he's a cool dude. And so I wanted to watch some of his videos. So if you see that coming up soon, that's why. I don't know anything about him. Um, man, I'm, I'm freaking 40, dude. Why would I know that guy? So many people are like, you don't know who he is? I'm like, no, bro. I've talked to some people, like like locally, there's people at my work. One, they're like, you don't know who he is? I'm like, I have no idea who that guy is. And they're like, how? I'm like, how would I? And I'm like, I'm like yeah, dude, I don't. I make YouTube videos, but I watch only like a few, a handful of creators because I don't have a lot of time. It ain't got nothing to do with desire. I don't have a lot of time. So, um, I listen to more of it. And most of my content that I watch is MMA based. I stay on that stuff so I don't get disinterested in what I'm doing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, look, this video is brought to you by Knife Crime Apparel, as I'm sure you're aware. Sorry for the long intro. Let's get started. If you need somebody to talk to, you can reach out and holler at me. Uh, you know, just making that, extending that offer to you guys. All right, this is a uh, ghost main. I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. I don't know much about him either. Yeah, when I was uh, when I first started rapping, I actually I was a big fan of Denzel, uh, and now we're friends, which is kind of funny. Um, and yeah, Absol, Top Dog Entertainment. I, I used to listen to some of that stuff too. I'm a yo, I didn't know Andrew WK rapped. That's wild, bro. A big fan of Outkast. Uh, that's like my favorite. It's probably the only rap that I still listen to on a daily basis, to be honest. It's super experimental. That's that's why it's inspiring to me. I like any kind of music that's experimental or you know sort of all over the place. My eyes are driving me nuts, bro. I need to go drink like a gallon of water. Maybe that'll help. Maybe I'm just dehydrated. I don't know. It, they, they burn and they itch. They don't burn, they, they itch. I'm telling you, I think as a good starting point, uh, the Kabbalion is probably the best place to start with like hermeticism and uh, the you know law of attraction and stuff like that. Because the law of attraction is just sort of a modern term for uh, you know mental transmutation, which is ancient, like thoughts become things and, and you're a product and your life is a product of the thoughts that you put out there. Man, you know what's weird? Like right before I started this video, I was watching a John Jones video, like, r like right now. On my phone, it's a John Jones video. I was like getting ready to do this and I was listening to it. I'm not kidding. I'm only a minute 51 into that video. And John Jones has already talked about the laws of attractions, uh, speaking things into reality. How weird is that, that that's what he's talking about right now? That is really strange to me. Um, and I don't know how much I believe that. Uh, I believe that you can think all day long and you can talk all day long. If you don't work for it, bro, ain't nothing happening, homie. Um, but yeah, opinion. the Kabbalion's great, the seven hermetic principles. Um, and then, you know, if you want to get into Crowley, obviously the book of the law, uh, the book of lies. Um, but other I mean, than that, yeah, space and astrophysics, I'm, I'm hugely passionate about. Uh, recently I read the, um, astrophysics for people in a hurry with Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's a great, like, sort of all encapsulating, um, it goes now into like a, stand... the history of the universe from the big bang to the present and then. I can't stand Neil deGrasse Tyson. Again, it's just a personal taste. 
But this dude seems like he's really intelligent, and I like that, man. I like that a lot. Yo, this chair, now that I'm thinking about it, is pretty raw, dude. I'm able to put my elbow on it and, like, actually chill and listen to these videos with y'all. Bro, I might be on to something. What do y'all think? Does it look okay? I don't really care if you like it or not. I'm just asking. Because I like the pattern. I think it's dope looking. You can't buy swag, folks. And I'm not claiming to have any, okay? Let's just... <laughs> And uh, sort of everything down to the chemical makeup of the universe and stuff like that. Just super passionate about it. Because I don't think science and religion necessarily need to be separate because um, they complement each other in a lot of ways. You know, there's that's no so reason true. to really. Uh, Yo, that's one of the smartest things I've heard somebody on, on like on the, like in this generation of music say about anything. Like, not that I'm hating on anybody, I'm not. But that was intelligent because it's very true. And I'm not pushing one way or the other. I'm just saying like that is a lot of makes a lot of sense. Nothing from the Bible has ever been proven wrong by science. That's a fact. So, uh, isn't that crazy, though? What? Bro, look it up, dude. I'm not going to argue with you about it. Uh, you could advocate one or the other, but, you know, you almost can't have one without the other in some ways because there's certain things that are unexplained. My guy, bro. I like this. is my favorite interview leaves, so far. You know, religious possibilities open and vice versa. So, um, but yeah, that's aside from music, those are like my biggest passions. I think, you know, one of the most important things is uh, just not losing sight of whatever it is that you know you want to do. Because I think everybody out there has the one thing that they really want out of life or really want to do in life or whatever. A lot of peepee people, wow, a lot of people, a lot of peepee, -pee? uh, a lot of people probably do have that thing. People are scared a lot to take chances, and people oftentimes, unfortunately, are really lazy, man. Um, and then if you don't have any self-confidence, you're not going to take any chances. So, like, it's a real, man, it's tough, dude. Like, oh, this dude's awesome, man. I like this kid so much. I don't really care for his music much, to be honest, but this is this is awesome. What I've heard of his music, which is admittedly very little. Um, but we have Sorry, I a lot of outside up. forces telling us that that one thing may not be you know the right thing to do because it's not um, smart or lucrative or whatever but uh, I think that if you stay focused on that one thing no matter what that it'll it'll somehow materialize itself in your life like I've always wanted to travel um, I think even before I wanted to be a professional musician I, I wanted to see the world and uh, I never lost sight of that even when I was trapped in those cubicles for so many years you know um, I would just have pictures up there like it's it's stupid and you know the secret has like the whole make a collage bullshit but um you know I didn't do that but I had just like a couple things here and there you know like just pictures of mountains and shit. I, I didn't see mountains until I was 25 years old so and uh, I, I kept these dreams and um, you know you you find yourself subconsciously taking steps to bring yourself there I think that's uh, dude I disagree with that wholeheartedly here, here here's what I'm saying is is that he he got a little bit lucky. He didn't just think it into into real into happening. He became a musician. All right. I'm 39 years old. I'll be 40 in a few months. Right. I have thought about and focused on and dreamt of seeing the Grand Canyon my whole life. I haven't been able to go. It takes money to do stuff like that. And I understand what he's saying, but like I disagree with it. And nothing wrong with what he's saying though. I don't think that he's a that he should change his ways. That's stupid, dude. Do you, bro? I'm just saying, like, my, my opinion is that I, I don't see... You know who talks about stuff like that happening? Rich people. People with money. People... Like, that kind of thing. Well, yeah, dude. If you if you hit the hit the jackpot, bro, you're going to believe that that's the case. But 99.999999% of people get up and go to their shitty job they hate every day and just don't have another choice. They could think about mountains all day long. They won't go to go see them, you know? But, uh... Well, power to him, dude. I'm not, I'm not hating. I, I, dude, I, this kid's awesome, bro. I, 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 I fuck with this dude. Really what it is when you break it down is this gonna be the a law of video. attraction is sort of just um, a way to say that if you, you know, stay mentally focused on something, your subconscious is going to make you take the steps to, to make that happen, you know, right? as long as you don't lose sight of your goal. I think that we, um, we vibrate. We start to vibrate at a much higher level and um, transcend the physical plane and we just move on to the spiritual plane. Whether or not you know your actions or, or what you did in the physical plane has any bearing on where you live in that plane, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to think so. I think... 
So he's not sure if he believes in heaven or hell. Interesting. Whatever. I don't. Again, dude. I'm. I, bro. I'm not passing judgment on anybody, especially not this guy who's massively successful compared to me. All right. I don't have no place for that in my life. Uh, I like this kid a lot, though, man. This is a really, really good interview and a really good, smart young man. I think I believe in reincarnation and that souls have, um, you know, an age and stuff like that. Because you could tell. I mean, there's the term "old soul" is real. You know, there's. Um, there's people that are yeah, it's a real term. Uh, much older than me thing. that you know, still uh, it seems like they live like kids, you know, because they maybe they're they haven't learned enough lessons or whatever like that. I don't like to put things in. Uh, Yo, he got that backwards, dude. Old soul mean like never mind, um, whatever. And super neat categories like reincarnation or Buddhism or you know specific religion. Um, I just like to take bits and pieces of what seems to make sense to me and kind of make it part of my own beliefs, you know. I hey, can yes. believe something, but I could meet someone tomorrow that teaches me something and completely switches my belief around. I think it's important. Oh, I like that too. I feel the same way, man. Um, wow. I would love to talk to this guy. Because you know what I like? I like intelligence. Uh, I, know, I may not come off real intelligent all the time. I don't know. I don't really watch my videos. But I may not come off. I'm smarter than, than I look. And... Uh, this dude here is awesome, man. This is blowing my mind. Man. He doesn't do a lot of drugs, does he? I don't know. He seems pretty clear-headed. I could be wrong. He could just be fucked up all the time, and I wouldn't... I guess I wouldn't be that surprised, but... Sure feels like he's a, is a pretty level-headed straight shooter. Man, I'm about to be digging into this guy's music, bro. Like, this dude just became... I just became a fan of this guy, for real, for real. Important to live that way. Just super open-minded, you know? Does anime count? Oh, probably Griffith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from uh, Berserk. Cause, Dude, everybody um, asks that. Does anime count? That's awesome. He's he's an excellent example of like a protagonist who isn't necessarily uh, a, the good guy, so to speak. But he <laughs> I gotta leave soon. I gotta you know, hurry up stands with this video, for bro. what's positive in the series, I guess. But then um, he becomes taken over by power, and I think that. That's something that can easily happen to somebody who, uh, oh yeah, you know, is making their way up in life and is given power or something like that. It's it's easy to abuse that and use it the wrong way. And I think it's a lesson um, for people like, you know, who uh, I guess are um, type A personality competitive, to you know not abuse your power and try to always keep a a, a balanced you know mind state and stuff like that. Honestly, my favorite moment is not a positive one, though. I like when he, uh, I think it's the third one, when he um, he starts to get consumed by, uh, you know, the power he has, um, and he, you know, turns into this, like, the demon version of himself. I love that just because I'm really into, like, you know, gr gory and crazy anime shit. But uh, it's not necessarily positive or anything. I just I thought that was really cool to see what happened to him because I wasn't expecting that when I started watching the series, but... Yeah. Dude, okay, I'm so the old favorites. Um, I grew up on PlayStation, obviously, in the Twisted Metal series. Galaga is my favorite video game. Not that I've probably already said that before, but just letting y'all know. Always my favorite. Twisted Metal 2 is my favorite game, by far. Um, I don't think any of the Twisted Metals they made after that, like, compared to that one. It was just it was so good. Uh, but, um, and I, I still have, like, a code book with all the level codes and everything to, to yeah. get to the, the next levels. But, um... The, but newer games, fought the Fallout series, for sure. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that. I've played New Vegas and Fallout 4 like three or four times each just to join different factions and see what happens. Final Fan I like Final Fantasy 14. It's an MMO. Obviously the classic one, uh, Final Fantasy 7 is awesome. Um, and Final Fantasy 10, uh, which kind of got me into like turn-based combat stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a compliment. I'll take it. Most of the people, most of the comp the uh, comparisons I get are pretty good. Yeah, and people say Griffith too. Griffith is kind of one of the reasons I dyed my hair, to be honest, because um, I was so inspired. Yeah. Most of the lines in, like, if we're talking about recent songs, like most of the lines in Kali Yuga are uh, super um, important to me because I wrote that in a really one of the most one of the hardest emotional times in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm reading shit from kids that tell me they just want to quit. You're not. Yo, that's happening to me too, bro. I love y'all, man. Just so you know, I love you. 
My eyes itch like a motherfucker, but I love you. Um, my favorite thing about him is his front teeth. I'm not gonna lie, that shit's fire. Not alone, I feel like dying, and it's just basically to let everyone know, because I I get a lot of uh, DM requests from kids and stuff that, you know, say literally that that they just want to quit life or mm. quit what they're doing or um, you know, give up on whatever it is or drop out of school or whatever, and it's like. The message is that, you know, obviously I've, it's self-explanatory. I've been there too, or, or I am there right now. And, uh, you know, it's, you, you don't have to give up like that because we're all in this together, basically, you know. Um, and the Dude, whole I've song, like, even like I thought about taking so my many life on Periscope. My Literally, like, I was like l thinking about like, live streaming my suicide because I was so fucking depressed. And I just Ugh. was in the darkest place I've ever been. And, um it's it, there's uh you know there's no reason to go through with something like that when you haven't even explored all your options yet you know i want to know what changed his mind because that's an important conversation we need to have um i really do need to make this quick i'm sorry guys i gotta because I, I have to leave in my house in like 15 minutes you haven't even seen what else it is what it is. is you think you've seen this or that but you've got there's so much more you know i learned something mm -hmm literally every year every couple of years and i just Shoot look back day, at myself a year ago I'm like, fuck like i was stupid as hell you know um for even thinking that way but you're not the only one who suffers from that decision and mm -hmm. all you're That's... doing essentially is taking your suffering and putting it on everybody else i've and told that to so many i think kids, that's man. the worst thing you could do just know that uh you're not alone in feeling how you do and you know i feel the same way every day and and I'm going to take this moment right here to tell you that I care as well. If you need to talk to somebody, like I said at the beginning of the video, holla at your boy, man. Addiction problems, depression, anxiety, whatever. We can just talk it out, bro. This guy is fucking awesome, dude. And he's a reason that, man, I don't even know. This just blow my mind, dude. I, I cope with it. So you can too. Facts, bro. Depression is man. like, yeah, it's definitely real. It's definitely a chemical imbalance for mm -hmm. sure. Um a lot of times it could be, depending on how mild it is, it could be fought with just, you know, mindset, positive thinking, flipping things around. Other times it's really not that easy. It's just, it's a legitimately a chemical imbalance and you wake up every morning, you go to sleep every night and you don't want to do anything that you're doing. You don't even want to breathe. You don't want to see the light of day, you know, but it's like, you got to find, I actually realized this today, I was in the van and I was feeling really depressed and then uh, met our did something stupid or said something stupid and I started laughing and I instantly just realized like wow I I feel better even if it's for this 30 seconds like laughter is the best medicine that's a fact I don't have depression personally I had a mild case of it when I was younger I, I think I worked it through with my you know talking to people my therapist what I but my wife deals with it a little bit and she has to take prescribed medications for it so like again I say I'm not a doctor I, I mean just talk to somebody anybody um, I don't know. This is turning into a crazy video, y'all. Whew. This is a heavy one, man. Like, I feel great. And it made me realize, like, laughter, like they say, really is the best medicine. Like, I try to laugh, <laughs> like, funny. Like, bro, bro, what? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Dude, that's that's pretty cool, man. Not even, <sighs> you know, it really helps because you, it's hard to be what? sad if you're laughing, you know, in the moment Facts, that you're dude. laughing, even if it's just those little moments of happiness. Oh, dude, that made me too. so happy. I, I mean, on a personal note for me, like, until I did Mushrooms, my music was, like, really rigid. Like, uh, it's kind of the reason my music is the way it is, in my opinion. My ex-girlfriend, actually, I took Mushrooms with her for the first time. And um, I went from making really rigid, like, it was like boom bap style music, but it wasn't even good. <laughs> to making just like all of a sudden really wavy, like psychedelic funk type stuff. And uh, I tripped a lot after that and it just sort of opened my mind, I think. It's kind of cheesy and cliche because some people can get that way without tripping, but um, me personally, when I take psychedelics, it's, it's the only drug that I um, really like because it kind of just opens my mind to like. That doesn't surprise me even a little bit and I don't even think I disagree with that. Um, as most of y'all know, I don't like drugs. My main beef is with pharmaceuticals, man. Let's be honest here. I've never said much about weed or psychedelics. It's always pills. This shit kills people, man, every day. Uh, man, this dude is awesome. I don't know if I'm going to like his music. I don't care. I like him as a person. He's a rad dude. Like, different possibilities and realize that there's not just one way to see things. For me, like, the come down is the best because that's when I'm inspired to, like, 
to do some new shit, you know? Oh, fuck. Dude, it's so cheesy and stupid, but um, the biggest thing that turns me on more than anything is a girl who's smart as fuck. Like, even a girl who's, like, smarter than me. Like, if you could teach me something, me. like, that's, like, Y'all met my wife. Like my, the girl I'm with now is um, a nursing student, and she's also super passionate about like astrophysics and stuff. And that's like she's a model too, but that's not like what drew me to her. Like it was, um, uh-huh. you know, the the uh, oh, she's pretty. The mental stuff, because like I, yo, he's like, yeah, because if she was four foot three and three hundred and ten pounds, I still would be all into her. Dude, you don't have to lie, bro. Like it's all right. People are flawed. Me too. I, you know, I think my wife is gorgeous. If I didn't think my wife was so damn hot, I wouldn't have talked to her the first time I did. I'll be honest about it. She just happens to be smarter than anybody else that I hang out with. Like she's brilliant. <laughs> like, oh man, I feel dumb when I talk to her a lot. <laughs> There's girls that like, even if I'm physically attracted to you, like if you're stupid, like I can't even. Okay, that's you know, true though. Get turned like, on or anything. It's just I like can't a waste. No dumb, so. no dumb people. People. Yeah, definitely. Like intelligence is super. Is my biggest thing. Gus, guy's awesome. I love Gus, you know, and uh. uh, there's so many, there's so many memories. It's it's ridiculous. I <laughs> one um, just because I talked about it last night, I remember it off top. Probably one of my favorites was um, I remember uh, I was living with him in Pasadena with our friend Brennan Savage, and me and Brennan were. Um, kind of roasting Gus because he because he had that song Beamer Boy but he actually at the time like had never driven a car so I heard we were roasting him about it we were like oh like you can't even drive a Beamer if you got one so he's like you know what I'm gonna get in the car right now I'm gonna show you guys so we got in Brennan's car and uh he like pulls out and he starts like driving it and it was like some student driver shit like he's just like just like stopping and everything and <laughs> If he was here, he'd probably, like, argue with me about it, but uh, <laughs> me and Brennan were just laughing the whole time and, like, was low-key scared, but he, you know, it, it felt like a driving lesson or something. It was hilarious, but uh, I don't know. That's just a good memory. It was, it was pretty funny. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, it's really weird how all that happened, you know, and then we uh, ended up going our separate ways musically and stuff and found success in our own way. And, Yo, real really quick, like right now, right now, if you see this, dude, oh, shout out to my boy, yeah. Pop Jake. We would, yeah, we would talk. Damn we it, still... hold on. He just had a surgery today, and he got home safely. I got a video coming for him, too. Um, but my dog just texted me, like, right now, right now. I, I looked down, and my phone went bloop, and I read the message, and he got home safely through a surgery. It's like a heart surgery, so shout out to Jake, man. He, Pop Jake, you'll see him on my live streams, dude. That's the homie right there. Um, so I'm glad you're home safe, bro. I was thinking about you, actually, today. It was weird that you messaged me. Uh, and keep in mind, y'all, I've never met Jake. He's just a viewer of the show. Excuse me, man, what the hell? Uh, I feel like I know you guys personally, like, doing this stuff, man. This is becoming a crazy life, man. But anyways, look, I'm just glad you're home, bro. I would, keep, would touch base, like, every once in a while. Like, he would randomly just send me, like, a selfie or something, and I would send one back. Just, like, bullshit, like, you know, I see you, and you're, you guys are killing it, or blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, I think it's important to always, like, try to... Make an effort to stay in touch with, with people that you care about, you know. Facts. For sure. Uh, message to the youth. Kind of like I stated before, um, you know, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do or be something that you really want to do or be, you know. Um, I can't argue with that. societal norms and uh, fuck molds and all that bullshit, you know. Just stay focused on your goals and what you want to do and don't lose sight of that shit. Shouts out Montreality. Montreality show. Yo, that shit was fire, bro. Like, real talk, dude, I I, I don't know what I'm going to think about his music. I'll be honest, I don't think I care, man. This, that, that shit was awesome. Uh, That was wild. Dude, my eyes, look how bad my eyes have gotten, y'all. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to upload this. Yo, you see how watery they got? Like, what in the world, dude? I don't know what I would have done yesterday. It got the worst today, but I don't think I could have done a bunch of videos like this all week. Oh, man. Oh, I'm about to hit up some eye drops or something. I don't like those things, but I'm going to have to, man. This is horrible. What's eye drops do? They like hydrate your eyes? I don't really know much about them. Anyways, yo, that was an amazing, amazing video, dude. Like, I'm so glad I watched that.
again, his music doesn't even matter. To, I mean, it might matter to me, but like, I'm not concerned of whether or not I'm going to like that. I'm this dude's awesome. I will support this guy. Um, I've heard very little of it. I just don't want to act like I know him. Like I when I don't. Um, dude, that was crazy. Look, I got to run, y'all. I got to go to the theater. It's my Friday night movie. Um, yeah. Whatever, man. Jake, I'm glad you're home safe, brother. And uh, I got a video coming for you. Everybody else, man. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Be kind to everyone else. Live streams every Saturday night, man. Y'all need to come hang out. Uh, yeah. Fuck what you heard. Peace.